Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Nostalgia. Last time, we made it to Delhi and the Nirvana Palace where apparently Estelle is hanging out. So Scarlet's tagging along with us to try to find her sister. And uh, we had to go on back and find the key to get to, into this place because it was locked, of course. And then the guy said, you know, there's evil spirits hanging around. So anyway, before we head on inside, we gotta get some treasure, 10,000 gold and a beautiful gem. So that's pretty nice. Let's uh, keep on going around through here, see if we can't clear out this map. There we are. Awesome. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, lovely. Okay, so let's get on in here. See what we got going on. Let's move in, groove on our way. Hey, hey. Huh. Looks like an underground palace. That's kind of odd. Yeah, no kidding. Huh. Reminds me of Indiana Jones. Oh, well, a lot of stuff reminds me of Indiana Jones in this game. Yeah, maybe it. They are just keeping it a secret. That could be it. Oh, really? It has a tablet, too. Huh. Who knew? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, this is such a big shock to us. <laughs> okay. Well, the Cabal can't actually get them. The only person who can get them is Fiona. So if Fiona just left them the hell alone, then the Cabal could never get them. And, you know, we would save the world. But... That would not be as exciting as it is now. Anyway, there's a gun for pad. We can go ahead and equip that. I'll equip that off. Well, no, I'll go ahead and equip it right now. Why not? What the hell do I give a damn? So let's see uh, how well it does. I think it's better than the twin barrel that he already has. Yeah, it is. A little bit more attack power. So that's pretty nice. And down here we get... Oh, an MP shard. I'll give that one to Eddie because his attacks take quite a bit of MP and he doesn't have a lot of MP either. And an Agility Shard, I'll also give that to Eddie. So over here, uh, we can't continue on further, unfortunately, but there is a door to the left and to the right. So basically what you have to do is go through all the way to the left, hit a switch, and then go all the way through the right, hit a switch, and then that will allow a bridge to appear over this crevice. So, yeah, I'm going to be meeting you back here uh, periodically in order to do that. Ooh, we have some new enemies here, the Air Elementals and the Shadow Wolves. Let's see, we'll try our meteor shot on all of them. The air elementals have 115 HP, and they are weak to... Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, what are they weak to? Fire and dark. And the shadow wolves aren't weak to anything, so we'll just use physical hits against them. They only have 105 HP, though. So if they're weak to fire and dark, we'll use Flan Moa on the whole lot of them. Hopefully, between that and meteor shot, that should take care of them. Yeah, really nice. I would... Again, I've, I know I've said this before, but highly recommend putting tons of points in a meteor shot. It is such a good skill. So let's take the left-hand path first, and we're going to move on up to uh, the next floor. There we are. Easy enough. So if you notice right in front of us, there's a darkened spot in the floor. Whoa! Yeah, you don't want to step on those. Uh, this is extraordinarily straightforward, but there are these darkened spots all over the place, and if you step on them, then you will fall through to the previous floor. And here we have some zombies. Let's see, where's my bestiary? They have 115 um, HP, and they're weak to holy elemental attacks. The only person who has holy elemental attacks is Fiona. So, yeah, make sure that you use that as much as possible, but the thing is, Fiona's so... I don't know slow she yeah yeah we'll just say that she's very slow and um right now it's only single target so whereas pad and melody can pretty much destroy monsters before they can do anything between meteor shot and hitting a weakness fiona not so much so yeah i didn't even get a chance to show off her her holy skill but i think that i showed it off in a previous episode so it is what it is there's a new weapon for melody pretty nice but again, I would highly recommend just buying one of each item anyway, even though you get upgraded weapons here. Um, I like to, um, you know, buy the stuff just to fill out my adventurer's notebook. Actually, I wouldn't highly recommend it. I just, that's just what I'm doing. I don't really care if you fill out your adventurer's notebook. In fact, it really doesn't do anything. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's just me wasting time, apparently, to fill out my adventurer's notebook. Oh, hey, it's another coral. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, okay. Oh, can you appraise gadgets? Hey, awesome! What do you got here? The Lapis Lazuli Gem. I believe that that protects against water. But uh, another thing that I want to talk about as far as gadgets are concerned, 
A lot of the enemies in here are undead, so having a scroll of the dead on Eddie as well as on Pad is a very, very good idea. So let's see what we got here with the lapis. Oh, boosts wind resistance. So yeah, I guess I'll give that to her. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, anything that boosts resistance is always good to give to Fiona, since if she dies, you're really screwed. But speaking of Fiona, I just had her use her Lumiere skill on a zombie, and it dealt over 200 damage. So yeah, whenever it says that they're weak to holy, they are extremely weak to holy. Ooh, we get a flame wand. Wow. I believe that that's for Fiona as well. So we hit that switch. Now I'm going to meet you back down at the um, the original spot, the, the location with the crevice and the two doors. I'm in that central room, so let's head up the right side now that we've done that. Uh, let's see, we're going to head up here, I believe, is the stairwell. There we are. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to clear these maps all off screen. Let's go around that. Yeah, I don't really feel like falling into a hole right about now. I probably should have fallen or went around the other way. I'll equip that. Well, no. I'll go. I keep on saying that I'm equipped all this stuff off screen, but I know that you guys probably want to see the stat increases. So I really should equip this stuff on screen. Ooh, it causes petrified too. Hey, hey, awesome. Let me know how you feel about equipping stuff in the menus, if I should do it on screen or off screen. I don't know, like, I always like to try to err on the side of speediness rather than like full on completion, seeing every little last damn thing that's possible. I'd rather just go a little bit quicker, but that's just me. Ooh, we have some pixies here. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. They're weak to fire, and they have 113 HP, I believe. Let me look again. Yeah, 113 HP. And a lot of these enemies are also weak to dark, but we don't have a dark elemental spell right now. And in all honesty, the dark elemental spell that you do get sucks. So I don't even care about dark elemental spells. I would say majority of enemies in this game are weak to dark. But the problem with dark is that you never get an all-hitting spell with it, and it takes up a lot of skill points, not only to learn the Dark Elemental spell, but to, whoa, but to um, upgrade it to, you know, somewhat usefulness. So I'd rather just stick to other elemental spells, you know, the four basic elemental spells, rather than deal with a fifth elemental spell, especially, whoa, since, um, well, before I fall down that hole, since um, you don't, you don't have individual SP pools. You share your all of your SP. So it just makes more sense um, to give your SP to people who are better. Like Eddie, Pad, even Fiona, I've got to say, is just better. So, yeah. It, it's unfortunate because Melody's not horrible. She just has people who are better than her. So I tend to give the points to them. So I hit both switches, so I'm going to meet you back down in the central area after I clear out all these maps. I got all of that stuff taken care of. Let's see what our party has to say about all this new turn of events. Yeah. Oh, I wonder where that could possibly be! Oh, uh, that is a good question. Yeah, it is quite the mystery, I've got to say. Quite the conundrum. Okay, well, something tells me they're probably already there, waiting for us, just waiting for Fiona to get there and take the tablet, and then they can steal it from us. Oh, hey, it's Estelle. Holy crap. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, no is right. Uh, that sucks. Okay, uh, what I want to do is finish up this map real quick. Uh, just so I can warp out of here whenever the time comes and all that. Let's see, did I get it? Did I get it? Let me check out my stats real quick. Um, ooh, I actually have a decent chunk of SP, I've got to say. Uh, what do I want to stick it into? Let's see. Um, maybe, you know what? Combo attack needs 1,800, so I'm not there yet. What about hyper attack? Oh, seriously? Come on now. Um, hmm, I could put in some... Uh, God, I'll save it. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Once I get 1800, then I'll stick it into a uh, combo attack and all that good stuff. There, I got the map. Oh, is there two Scarlets? Uh-oh. Wow, one was enough. Huh. This reminds me so much of Game of Thrones. Like, you know, the faceless god and Arya Stark and, you know, transforming and the waif and all that. I love it. I love Arya. I love her storyline. I love everything about it. It's so good. Oh, well, um, I guess that could work. 
Oh, so Melody, do you know which one is uh the right one? Did you really think that we're gonna fall for that, Fiona? You're an idiot. Ugh. Oh my god. Like you're you're an idiot, like seriously. Oh! Uh how do you know that? Yeah. Ah. Yikes! <laughs> okay. How's that? Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, that's right, she didn't. That's true, too. She had no clue that about uh, Fiona's white priestess powers. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true, too. I guess it's the, the womanly perspective right there. Yikes! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, Melody, you're a bit too rash, I've got to say. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. It's boss time against Estelle herself. Whoa. I went ahead and put it into full screen mode. And here we have Gorgon Heads, who have 250 HP, and Estelle, who only has 400 HP. With Melody against bosses, you're pretty much better off physical attacking. I don't know why, do not ask me why, but the developers screwed it up big time. Against, I would say, 99% of all the bosses, um, their defensive power is, like, double, you know, like, it's very small, it's very minuscule. Whereas their, um... Magic defense power is insane. For example, Estelle's defense power is only 18. Her magic defense power is 85. The Gorgon Heads, very similar. Their defense power is 15. Their magic defense power is 60. So, yeah, it's just kind of strange. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use White Gale to give Eddie another turn. Yeah, basically you trade Fiona's turn and then you give it uh, Eddie's turn immediately. And then we can use combo attack, because once Estelle dies, the Gorgon Heads die too. So they're just done. Yeah, very simple, very easy. Use a hyper attack, use a combo attack, good to go. You're golden! Such an easy boss time! Man, I kind of wish it was a little bit more difficult. Oh, got an A rank too. Nice! Ooh, levels all around! Hey, hey, sweet! Yeah, no kidding. Come on now, snap out of it oh uh. uh oh this isn't good who's oh it's Yangui yeah she's the one who's uh, controlling her we heard about that last time the finale uh, is she gonna kill her holy crap I guess that broke her paralysis and oh Scarlet are you okay Is Estelle seriously still under control? Oh, it's just like Kane. I guess Gulbez's spell is broken. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Ah, okay. So she had some sort of like enchanted magical earrings that were um controlling her. That's how she was under her power. Whoa! So Estelle actually does have some sort of serious magical power? I thought she was just some random girl in a dress. Ah, so that's the real Yangui. The other one was just like a hologram, I guess. Yeah, let's do it! Let's get her! Let's take her down! Woohoo! And Estelle's on our side now for real boss time against Yangui herself! Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's use Random Shot against her. Now, she has 1,000 HP, and she's weak to fire, but her defensive power is only 19, and her magic defense power is 90. Like, wouldn't you think that they would have made them, you know, somewhat similar? It's just odd. Anyway, let's uh, use another White Gale, give Eddie his turn again, because Eddie is the key to victory in this fight, like definitely. Once you've hyper attacked, use combo attack because that's gonna deal the most amount of damage. And I've gotta say, Melody physical 
hitting with a hyper attack is going to deal more damage to her than using a fire spell based upon her weakness. That's yet another reason why Melody pretty much sucks in this game. It's really, really very unfortunate that they chose, like, the magic defense the way that they did, and that they chose to make Melody's skills cost so much as well. It's like, you know, it's, it's a total double whammy against the poor girl. But, I mean, at least she's not a typical black mage in that her uh, physical hit, you know, sucks, because honestly, her physical hit isn't all that bad, I've gotta say. She has more attack power than Fiona does, at least, and normally they make them white mages um, have more attack power than the black mages. So, it's nice, it's okay, but yeah, keep on giving uh, Eddie his turn, and there we go! Took her down, easy enough. Ooh, got a B rank too. And, ooh, Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave is really, really nice. Ooh, and Magic Shell, that's also extremely nice. Sonic Wave, I would put points into. It's really, really nice. It allows you to attack all enemies, and Magic Shell pretty much works as a reflect. So both of them are very, very, very nice, but especially Sonic Wave. Oh. Hehehe, <laughs> going down, Yangui. Emperor Terra? Who's that? Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh, I hope not. Poor Scarlet. I like how Estelle was just kind of like, I'm not even like, you know, acknowledging that with a comment or anything. She's just like, eh, I don't have to worry about you right now. I'm gonna deal with Scarlet. I'm gonna deal with my sister. Oh. Um, you tried to help her on multiple occasions, and Estelle had none of it. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that's right. Yeah, let's get that tablet. Let's do this. Man, we're getting tons of tablets lately. What is that, like a vortex in the sky and a UFO? What in the world was that? Oh, yeah, so what exactly do you know? Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. But first, let's talk to our party. Yeah, she does. Oh, well, hopefully not. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to meet you at the exit. Oh, well, no problem. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You know, Scarlet's grown on me, and so is Melody. You know, Melody can be a little bit gruff, I've got to say. A little bit rough around the edges. But, uh, she is funny. She's she's some nice comic relief, I've got to say. Yeah, you know, all's well that ends well, I guess. Uh, well, no problem. You know, you got your sister back, and we got our tablet, so are you gonna not, you know, terrorize the skies anymore? Oh, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. You've been hurt, you've been hit, but you were just hit by a fire spell. Well, no, Yang Gui blasted you too. Eh, all it should take is a secure spell. It's not like you need a phoenix down or anything. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that Emperor Terra, we don't know anything about that. Ugh. Um, probably because you lost your memory and you don't really know much about the Cabal? That would be my guess. Or that we're just very nice people. Hmm, I guess you could see it as a strength. I would normally see it as a weakness, but yeah, that's just me. Uh, yeah. Totally. Oh, really? Huh, the Cabal's most wanted. Oh. Huh. So, I guess Gilbert Brown actually knows what the Cabal's plans are? What What do the Cabal want? What do they want with these tablets anyway? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you don't know. So, all you know is that you want the tablets gathered together, and Emperor Terra told you to do that. Although, no one knows where the Emperor is. If no one knows where the Emperor lives... So, presumably nobody's met the Emperor. How is the Emperor giving out his orders? Is he just, like, 
calling these people? Is he sending them telegrams? Like, what is he doing? Oh! The Cabal have a secret base in Japan. Well, maybe Emperor Terra's there. Oh, okay. Maybe your father's there, too. Huh. Okay, will do. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, thanks. Awesome. So, um, uh, yeah, let's see what our party has to say now that Estelle has left. And we can head off to Japan. Hey, awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and we all know how that one ended. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, so we can head off to Japan next time, and let's play Nostalgia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.